Dear radio listeners, I appreciate greatly this privilege and opportunity to address you and to say a few words. One of the disciples of the famous spiritual leader of Zaman of Ladi was once so beset with uh, troubles, problems and difficulties, no, no source of income, sickness in the family and other difficulties, that in desperation he turned to spiritual master and poured out his heart to him. He described in detail his whole sad situation. He was hoping that his teacher, his spiritual master, his Rebbe will give him a blessing that will produce an improvement in his life, or at least good advice, or at least some words of encouragement. Instead of all that, the Rebbe reacted in a tone of, uh, in a very solemn and serious tone, and told him, you remember well what you need, but you forget what you are needed for. Upon hearing these words, the disciple fainted on the spot. But when he came to himself, he was a totally different man. When he entered to the, how, the room of his master, he was a bro broken, hopeless, miserable individual. When he walked out, he was completely changed. Now he's a man with a mission. He found he has a purpose in life. He is needed for something valuable. It's not what he sees to be obsessed with his own requirements, but he is needed for something for a higher goal. And this became for him a new source of energy and a desire for accomplishments. Many individuals among us live their whole lives day after day without any higher purpose, without any goal. One day comes after another without any accomplishments. And, and this is called a failed life because everything we do in life needs a purpose, a goal. We know that in the business world there is such, expression, such an expression as a mission, state, mission statement which means before you start something, you clarify for yourself what is the mission, what is the goal, what is the purpose of your doing. And then you judge every activity in the light of that mission. Does it promote the accomplishment and the fulfillment of that mission or not? People start a business, whatever they do, they have a mission in order to gain money. Even when you take a walk on the street, it is a mission to arrive somewhere. Even somebody who engages in a game is a mission to win the game. But unfortunately, life itself, which is our greatest uh, activity in, the, in our existence, we live without a mission, without a purpose, without a goal. Our Torah teaches us that the, our whole life is a mission. We have to accomplish something in our life what the eternal desires of us. In our daily prayer, we utter the following phrase, Leman lo niga lo rik, lo la beholo, that we may not toil in vain and be born for confusion. So many of us toil in vain. They toil the whole life without any purpose, without any goal, uh, without, in, in vain. Let us hope it will not be in vain. Thank you very much and have a very good Shabbos.